Herzlich willkommen zum SK Sturm TV Interview mit unserem Neuzugang aus Australien. James Jago ist in dieser Transferperiode von Adelaide United zum SK Sturm gewechselt. Welcome, James Jago. Dankeschön. Um, James, you had your first training here in Graz. Um, what are your impressions of the club, of the team, the players, the colleagues? Yeah, it's a very good. Obviously, I was very excited to come, and and you know, I've been very happy to be here. The training ground is is really nice, and the boys have been very good in welcoming me, and and have helped me a lot. Uh, a lot of them speak English, which is helpful. And in the trainings, yeah, the I can see that the standard is very high, and there are some very good players. So I'm excited to start. Many people will think, um, why playing football in Austria when you can can be pro in Australia? We have sun, beach, um, <laughs> the sea. Was it your goal to play in Europe or, or even in Austria where you were born? Yeah, obviously I left Europe when I was quite young and playing in Australia, I, as you said, I always had a goal to come back to Europe and I think, you know, this is the best place to be for football and, and it's something that I always wanted to do. So, you know, especially knowing Austria and, and having lived here before, it was, it was a place that I was interested in and, and I'm very happy that, that I've been able to come here. Your brother is already playing in Europe, in, in Norway, I think, for which club? Yeah, he recently signed for a third division club in Europe called Flora. So he's uh, only a few hours away. So hopefully when I get some spare time, I can go watch him play. Maybe Or not a few here. hours. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you asked him about Europe, about um, the clubs here, how they play football? Yeah, we, we've spoken about it a little bit. He... Um, He's been in, at his club for maybe only a couple of weeks as well, so we're in a similar situation. But yeah, it's, diff it's different to Australia, but we're both enjoying it. Um, you're a multicultural family from, yeah. from England. You were born in Austria. What's your story? What's the history of your family? Yeah, so me and my brother were both born in, in Austria and we lived there for 10 years. My um, my mum and dad both worked in Austria and they lived in Austria for maybe 20 years. And then we, uh, when I was 10, we moved to Australia again for my dad's work and, and we've lived there ever since. So my parents are both English and, and the rest of my family is in England. So it's a bit all over the place, but yeah. Your father is working for United Nations? Yeah, in, in Vienna, he worked for the United Nations and now he's working for, or he was working for a big, a big company in Australia. Okay, um, you have an Australian passport, also a British one. I think you're on to get an Austrian passport, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Obviously, being born in, in Austria, and it, mean, it means I, I think I can get one, and, and yeah, it's definitely something that we're looking into. When you were around 15 years old, um, the doctors confirmed um, the diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, which, you call this, which is called in Austria um, leukemia. How have you dealt with this me message? Yeah, it was obviously at the time it was it was quite a tough a tough thing to happen, but it's one of those things that I think you know there's a obviously it's a very tough time, but you can take a lot of positives from this experience and and you know it was something that I had to go through and I had to deal with, but it helped me grow up very quickly and and yeah you know it also made me realize how how important football is to me because I wasn't able to play for for eight months so. Yeah, it was it was it was a tough time, but but something now that that I think helped me grow a lot and and helped me be what I am today. So, do you also use this uh, on pitch? I think yeah, I think you know it. As I said, I couldn't play for maybe eight months to a year, so it made me realize you know how important football is. And I sort of when I came came out of that, I, I thought you know the one, I want to spend the rest of my life playing football. You know, I realized how important it was to me and. And it made me, you know, take nothing for granted and make sure that every day I work hard to, to make it a reality. Um, all the football players made their hobby to their job. Um, what is Jimmy Chego doing out of the pitch? Huh. What's your hobbies? At the moment, I'm looking for a house to, <laughs> to, to live in here. But uh, to be fair, a lot of the time away from the pitch, I like to relax and, and take it easy. Obviously, you come to training and you work very hard and it's important that you rest. You rest when you're at home, but... You know, especially here in Graz, I, I've already seen it's a beautiful city. So I, I like to go and explore the city a little bit and, and visit different things here and, and eat some Austrian food. So I'm looking forward to all of that. I heard you're also relaxing on the golf court. Are you good in it? 
I wouldn't say good. I think maybe good is a bit, is a bit too much. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I do play a lot of golf in Australia, and yeah, I'm looking forward to maybe finding a few courses in Graz. Um, you learned playing football um, next to Vienna at SV Schwechat. Can you remember the time at the club? Yeah, yeah, I remember it very well. Obviously, it was my first club, and and is where I started to, is where I started playing football. So, yeah, I have very fond memories of there, and and you know really enjoyed it. And I think it was a good place a good place for me to 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 play and to train. You know, there's you tra I think in Austria you train a lot more than you do in Australia. So. You know, having that Austrian Austrian upbringing and and playing in Austria for ten years was very beneficial to my football and something that I was very grateful for. Um, the game against Trapid um, is coming closer. I think you will meet an old colleague there. Yeah, I played with uh, Philip Pozenik for many years at at SV Schwechat, and we we're very close off the pitch as well. And we've kept in touch a little bit over the years, and so it'll be good be good to see him and, and play against him. Just hopefully we win. So. <laughs> um, How can you describe the Australian League and the the Asian Champions League? Uh, what kind of football are they playing there? I think the the Australian League is getting a lot better. Obviously, it's only a very a very young league, and but I think you know in the last five years, especially, it's made a lot of a lot of strides forward, and there've been a lot of players that have come. Obviously, Mark Yanko came last year, and I think it helps the league get better. But I think it's it's a good strong league where it's very competitive. Every game is is very tough. Um, And yeah, the Asian Champions League is is a very strong league. Obviously, I had one season where we played there, and the Japanese and the Chinese teams. You see the amount of money that's being spent there. They are very technical and very quick. So it was a, a really good experience to play to play in that in that tournament. And hopefully, I can play in an international tournament here with with strong guards. Now you are here in Austria. What do you know about the league and, and the clubs? Um, obviously, I know a lot about about the two Vienna clubs having gr grown up there and when I, when I grew up there the three big clubs in in Austria were the two Vienna teams and Storm Graz so I know a lot about these three teams and you know I've done a lot of research on the internet once I knew I was coming about not only Storm Graz but the league in general and obviously Red Bull Salzburg are now a very strong team and and you know a lot of these other clubs I've, I've looked at where they play where they are so I'm looking forward to getting around and playing at the different stadiums and, and experiencing the league. What are your own goals and the goals with, with the club now? Obviously for me personally I wanna I wanna come and play as quickly as possible and, and help the team do well. You know, one of the reasons for me to come here was I think that I can improve a lot as a player and I think this is a really good place to do that and, and as I said, you know, my aim is to work hard every day and try to get into the team and, and help the team do well. And obviously for the club, I think I think international football is is a massive target. And obviously at the moment we're sitting in fourth, which is which is Europa League spot. So, you know, I think in the second half of the season, the aim is is to stay in that spot and and push push as much forward as we can and and try maybe even finish higher. So, you know, I think that's the aim, and I'm really looking forward to to starting the second half of the season. Just three more days uh, when we start the the league now. Um, what are your expectations for the first game in Arta? I'm really, really looking forward to it. I, I can't wait. You know, hopefully it'll be it'll be a debut. You know, I'm not sure yet what the the coach has in mind, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to experiencing the the Bundesliga for the first time, and and hopefully we can go and get three points and and start the second half of the season well. So thank you, Jimmy, for the interview. All the best in Graz. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Ihnen sage ich Dankeschön fürs Zusehen. Unser nächster Termin ist morgen um 14 Uhr das Mediabriefing live auf Westgestunde TV.